Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel SFDC Panther and uh, in this video we are going to work on binding how we can uh, do the bindings over our Einstein analytics uh, data uh, dashboards. So uh, before we go ahead, uh, I have published a blog about Einstein bindings. Uh, if you don't have uh, gone through with this, please uh, note this link and you will also get this link uh, inside the description of this video. So please uh, read this blog before going uh, deep into this video. So we talked about like uh, we have two things for binding the data between the different widgets of our uh, dashboards uh, like we have uh, list filters and then we have uh, uh, bindings as well. So what the problem uh, was list filters is that uh, list filter can only work uh, in a data set which are related uh, to each other. So for example uh, if we talk about that we have a data set here for DTC opportunity sample and if we create a list filter uh, using this data set and then uh, we have some widgets which are using the same data set and then only those list filters can uh, affect our uh, dashboard widget else uh, those list filter will not uh, be able to do that so to make the dashboard more interactive uh, we have uh, binding the concept of binding in salesforce uh, salesforce einstein analytic dashboard so before we go ahead uh, let me talk about uh, a very brief things about bindings how binding uh, works so binding works like uh, it first works data selection function so for data selection function uh, we have uh, uh, we can say that uh, we have cell and we have colon uh, column and then we also have a function called row but we will be mainly focusing on these two cell and column so and uh, after data selection function uh, we need to select either we wanted to select cell that means it will give us a, a value complete for that cell uh, uh, for particular row index that we are providing and then for the column uh, we will be getting the value uh, whatever the uh, user is uh, selecting or uh, creating and then followed by this uh, data mm, selection function we have data serialization function uh, like uh, we are um, picking up some data with the help of some bindings and then uh, we need to tell them like what output we want in which format actually we want the output so we have uh, multiple data serialization functions like uh, as object uh, as order projection so we'll be looking uh, each uh, of these functions in our coming videos and mainly we will be focusing on this as object function uh, in this video and uh, these are the syntax like uh, columns we have source uh, for the column source is our uh, step name so what step we wanted to fetch and then what column we wanted to actually fetch uh, once we will be doing practical things you will be getting more uh, into this and then this is the cell that uh, source is again the step name and then we need to define which particular index actually we wanted to get the value and then we have this column so so uh, this is like this uh, let's say that we have multiple um, array here for the cell uh, we can say that this is 0 and then this is uh, 1 and this is 2 this is 3 so if we define row index as 1 then we will get the value whatever all the values are there uh, for index 1 if you define 2 here we will get the value for 2 and in case of uh, this column uh, we will be uh, we no need to define the row index and we will be getting uh, defining the columns which actually column we wanted to get and here we can also define the column and we have uh, types of bindings here so we can say that uh, we have types of bindings as well and we already published that block so um, first is we can say that selection binding a uh, selection binding is something like i'm selecting uh, a toggle and then i want the output to uh, based on my selected uh, so for example uh, we are displaying the sum of amount for the opportunities and uh, i want to see the sum of amount uh, based on the opportunity type or based on the product family so we can work on selection binding and then next we have is result binding so this uh, this is basically uh, used uh, whenever uh, we wanted to get the result for a first step and then use into the second step so how this is going to uh, look like uh, let's say that uh, we wanted to uh, get the sum of amount of top 10 products so what we need to do is in the step one uh, we need to uh, get the top 10 products 
and then in the step 2 uh, we need to um, get the sum of our uh, top 10 products and these top 10 products uh, we will be using here uh, with the help of result binding so these all will be using uh, result bindings so this is a very brief uh, introduction about bindings and uh, we will be working uh, uh, about 3 to 4 uh, working sessions uh, um, for these bindings so we will be covering all these things uh, that are uh, that are required to work with bindings data binding so in this uh, release uh, winter 20 we have uh, this uh, we have to do some coding um, for uh, binding to generate the binding function but in the coming release uh, spring 20 we will be getting we will be able to generate bindings uh, with some clicks so we don't need to worry about that so for now just let's quickly see uh, we wanted to show the sum of amount so we can say that sum of amount here and now we are able to see only one chart uh, sorry one line that is 124 million so let's add some grouping here so i'm going to add with uh, and let's say that i'm going to talk about industry here so now let's uh, started descending so we can see that uh, we have a uh, maximum amount at the top and then minimum amount at the bottom so now we have this chart but this chart is only displaying the information with the we can say that amount by industry so let's clip this uh, our lens into our uh, we can say that uh, i'll say that uh, amount by industry and we will clip this to our dashboard so this is our dashboard now we have got this uh, amount by industry so let's quickly uh, drag and off here in the designer and increase the width and height so we have got this um, particular uh, dashboard view we can see that uh, we have some of amounts and uh, uh, we are getting industries uh, by some now and now what if i want to see the sum of amount by account type and I also wanted to see the sum of amount by uh, we can say that product family. So there are two things uh, that we can do is uh, either we can create two more uh, widgets, two more lenses, and we can say that now grouping by uh, again grouping by account type and then again grouping by product family. Uh, but that will not uh, be a good idea. So for this we have a binding. So uh, what we can do here is uh, let's quickly. Uh, from the left hand side you will see this toggle let's quickly drag and drop into the um, designer section and you need to expand this and then click here so for this uh, we can select either a data set existing data set or we can select some uh, custom so we are going to select custom here so click here create custom query and you can see that there are two columns you can add as many as you want so here I'm just going to say uh, I'm going to rename as display so it will be a small d and for the name here I'm going to say industry and then again I'm going to say account type and then here say product family. So these are the only three that I just wanted to and here in the column so you just need to click here add column so if you wanted to give the api name of these industries select uh, text either number or uh, if you wanted to do some formula things uh, you can select here measure and if you wanted to select some uh, api name from the data set that uh, we are going to do so select dimension so this is how uh, in the this is this came into the last release and that is winter 20 and uh, this is very cool to work with uh, dynamic bindings so here i'm going to select again the same data set and uh, for the dimension let's quickly uh, type here for the industry i want industry here and then for the account type uh, i will type here account type here and then product family again we will search for product family so up to here we are good uh, we have uh, created a static step and uh, for the query you can say anything but it will be uh, taking the name by its own i'm not going to change it even you can you want it to you can change and here you can see this is the dimension and if you wanted to rename it so i'm just going to say as a, a value here instead of a dimension 2 so now i am able to see value here so click done here so you can see that now we have got this uh, toggle here so to make the changes like if you want to make the uh, font size like 12 or 14 or you want to change the text color size uh, i'm just wanted to make sure that i'm changing it 
for the selected type style if you wanted to change what will be the color and what will be the background color and you can select that as well and uh, even if you wanted to give some borders uh, you can give and i just wanted to give some borders here uh, so that there uh, the, there will be uh, so look and feel a very good like so now we have got this and uh, in the query tab if you'll see uh, you have an option here either you wanted to what, what will be the selection type so i wanted to single selection required so what it will be it will always be selected uh, one uh, one value so it will always be selected so if you see I even I dropped I'm clicking uh, nothing is happening here in in my dashboard so to this what we need to do is uh, first thing let's quickly edit this because uh, we uh, discussed that uh, while working with the dynamic bindings we need to uh, do some coding so first thing let's make sure that uh, our code is coming into the circle mode so I'm just going to do nothing I'm just removing semicolon and then again putting that uh, running the query updating it and uh, now if i go to the json form so if you wanted to uh, you see the json of this dashboard uh, you have two options uh, and for the windows use control e and for the uh, mac users use command e so just use your uh, this as per your convenience and if you see okay so before going ahead uh, let me quickly show you how you can get the step name or the api name for this lens so if you select this you will go uh, get to the query and you can see uh, the id is the step name for you and uh, this is you can also say the api name and for this uh, and uh, again you need to use query and you have static underscore one so let's quickly uh, copy this and then uh, go to the edit mode here find your uh, query and you can see that this is the uh, circle query uh, we were looking into so now what we are going to do is as we have our uh, toggle with us now we wanted to uh, see if we have selected industry it should show industry for us uh, we have selected account type uh, it should show account type uh, amount uh, grouped by sorry a sum of our amount grouped by product family or account type so what we can do is uh, so here uh, that you need to uh, be a bit more uh, focus on this so remove industry i'm going to remove first step is uh, put to opening curly braces and then to closing curly braces this is your first step and the second step that we discussed is a data selection function so we talked about that we will be working more with columns and row sorry uh, yeah column and cell so i'm going to use here column uh, no worry about that we are going to work with a uh, cell as well and row as well so as it is a function so uh, we need two opening and close uh, sorry one opening and closing parenthesis so this is your second fun uh, second step that you need to provide your data selection uh, function now your uh, next step is to provide which step you wanted to select what what is the um, sorry you wanted to select so here uh, we need we have this static one this is our step and based on the selection of this step or based on the result of this step uh, we want the output so we need to select our step we found our step now which binding we wanted to apply uh, either selection or result so here our use case is result so i'm uh, sorry selection so i'm going to select uh, selection here uh, static one selection and then put a comma here uh, it took two parameter because uh, let's uh, go back here you can see that it takes two parameters column uh, what is our step and column name and then provide this uh, opening uh, sorry square brackets and then inside that you need to put double quotes opening and closing double quotes and then provide uh, type here value so what is this this is actually the column name of our static uh, parameter our static toggle that we provided here so remember we renamed it to, uh, from column to uh, from dimension 2 to column so if you haven't renamed it uh, it must have dimension 2 and then uh, we we need to provide here dimension two. So let's me let me let me make it as value one so that uh, uh, you can get the clear picture of uh, clear picture about this that this is not a hard code thing that we need to provide here value. So we have provided value one, but as this is a JSON, so even if you try to use it will give us that a invalid JSON. 
uh, why we, it is getting uh, giving us invalid JSON so it will be um, we need to provide escape characters so just put some uh, uh, this back, backward slash and now uh, now we will be able to, we will be good so just copy this and the only this part uh, exclude in our single quotes and then found this industry replace this industry as well and then uh, industry as well this so for as what we are going to see is uh, say is uh, for the dimension as that is alias we are going to provide as display so why we are replacing from all three places so uh, the first thing is that if we have a uh, something that we are generating and uh, that we are grouping with it must be in our uh, generate statement even this is the same case with our uh, so equal as well and uh, that is the same case with our s equal as well so that that is why if we are something uh, grouping by something uh, uh, we need to generate or if you are generating that that must be grouped by or that must be using a uh, we can say that uh, some aggregation function so here you can see that we are uh, aggregating amount uh, but we are not putting into the group group by uh, query so that that is the case so let me again explain you if we are grouping uh, if you are grouping anything then it must be generated or it must be using aggregate function so that th that is what we are doing here industry is um, grouping and then we are using in a generate statement either we are uh, using as a generate statement or use that value uh, as a aggregation function and then th these were the our uh, next step and then after that what we need to do is uh, we forgot to put one thing uh, that is after column uh, we talked about that we have a data serialization function so we have got the input and uh, now we want the uh, how we wanted to apply this so we wanted to apply as a object here so uh, this is also a function so I'm going to uh, use this providing curly uh, opening and closing parenthesis and then again copying all the code and then replacing so before copying we need to do that but we missed that so now we are correcting that so here we have got this now let's quickly uh, try to go to our uh, view form so now we are here I click here view and change the toggle here so you can see now we are able to see uh, we have uh, the difference whatever we are selecting we are getting the value here now if even we have selected the count type so let's click on this drop down at the top right and then if you select show details here and then select this uh, view more details so you will see that uh, we are getting group by account type and then all these uh, things are automatically generated and you will see here is a original query uh, that we put uh, into the JSON while making the changes and you will see that here is our binding function you can see binding trace and you can see our this column is here we are getting as object so as object basically does returns uh, array of a string so that's why here we are getting array of a string as the count type now uh, let's uh, change it for product family and if you wanted to make sure uh, show details so you can see uh, we will see product family and as a result we will uh, get product family here um, so yep this is it for this lecture and uh, now we will be coming uh, more with the bindings and you will get uh, Einstein related video on every Friday so stay tuned and if you have any questions please uh, feel free to put down into the comment section and I will definitely help you and please uh, do like share and subscribe and uh, you will get the video uh, sorry links of our blog uh, blogs in the description of this video thank you